Wubble up a dub dub! My name is Mr. Fox and welcome back to Destiny 2 in another episode of Will It PvP and today we are looking at the future war called Heart of Time Pulse Rifle. You may remember this as the weapon we could have got if Future War Cult won the last faction rally. But they didn't. Dead Orbit and their crappy shaders and their crappy guns and their crappy armor one. But hey, I'm not salty about that. Still, seriously, if you guys continue supporting Dead Orbit, I will find you. I will find you. But anywho... The perks on this weapon are Dragonfly, which is kind of meh so far in D2. The explosion is just like they have to be directly pushed up against each other for that to even damage them. Steady Rounds, or Tactical Mag. But I have a feeling we're going to need stability. Candle PS, for increased handling speed and a little bit more range. Or we could have Impulse for... A little less handle, you know what, I feel like, nope, never mind, we're going with candle. <laughs> and it's intrinsic perk. Oh god, I burped, how uh, embarrassing. I just ate okay. I'm talking directly after, no, no, not the point. The point is, this has deep ammo reserves and slightly faster reload when empty. And, which means this is somewhat, you know... Mash trigger, hope they die. Sort of gun. But without further ado, to the game that we will play and hopefully not suck! We have... Nothing to help you but your team and your weapon. Holy crap, we have Clash instead of Supremacy or Control? What is this? Now, the one thing I will say I really dislike about faction rallies is that how losers only get, like... Two tokens in the Crucible, which means when it looks like the other team's pulling ahead by a fair amount, people are gonna leave. Like on your team, they'll just straight up abandon because they don't want to waste their time. They're just two tokens. I do get that. At the same time, you're just screwing over your team. Don't be an asshole, man. It's the same thing happens in the banana. They're like, oh, I'm not gonna waste my time for just two tokens. Oh, I'm gonna let my team get screwed over. There's no way we could possibly come back. Oh, you got a rock to go. No, he's one with the rocket. Okay, which of you had the rocket? Who should I be staying away from? Huh? Last hope, Batman! He almost killed me because it has like zero time to kill! Oh, that's a shot. Nope. I need a hunter. Team? We're only down by one. We can do this. I believe in you! We have sis! We will not bow to our oppressors! Nay, we will rise! We will become more powerful than they could ever dream! He will shoot a rocket point blank and not die from his own blast because Bungie doesn't understand how explosions work. But hey, who am I to judge? And we're dead. You guys, I really do not like this map. I used to like it, but after a time of like only really getting this, it begins to wear on you. And remember how I said I wasn't going to use a pulse rifle ever again? Yeah. God damn it. Oh, okay. oh it just seems impossible to get into 1v1s these days. Like, I've noticed whenever you go into something when an event's going on, 
Chances are you're going to be running into like two stacks, four stacks, whatnot, highly coordinated people, friends who play together. Then there's just me, on my own. Because everyone I know stays up all night playing, and I'm like, hey, I'm on now. And they're so like, we're asleep. We sleep in the day because we're fucking vampires. It's the only explanation. Oh, screw this. I'm coming back, team! Don't worry! Hopefully, you didn't all just get massacred completely. Try to shax. It's just pulse rifles aren't in the best place at the moment, you know? They uh, have less range than auto rifles, which is. And at point and the range where you think they'd be really good at, they get annihilated by um, submachine guns and the last hope. So really, they again not much place in our meta. Like. Even in Crucible trying to earn your tokens, there's like, you earn them way more effectively. Other, is there even a point to getting back up? We're just gonna get slammed. Uh, thanks, Bungie! Fun time this morning. I wanted to use a pulse that has the range of, well, a bee's dick, okay? Bees dick range for this thing to actually do damage. The moment you start firing, they run away, they throw a pulse, then they rush you, and then they run away because they can't 1v1 you, they need to. Now show them the true meaning of war. I thought I heard someone pop a goldie. I said they didn't expect that. Don't worry, Hunter, my golden gun ran out. That shut them down. We come, buddy. And the last hope's time to kill is faster than the charge up at that range because um, I give up. Like, I had a high hopes for this pulse, and I remembered it's a pulse, and that right there was the dragonfly explosion. What? You say it just looks like the regular being annihilated by an energy weapon explosion? Well, that's because they, um, I don't know why they reduced the blast radius of Firefly, Dragonfly. Because it never really did any damage outside of PvE. I mean, that's kind of what I expected for a pulse. It's... And I wouldn't even recommend really using it in PvE because Dragonfly, it's useless now. Like, roll on this map with this gun, it's not going to be good for us. Like, we got no range on this thing. The guns that outrange us are Origin Story, any scout rifle. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh. Enemy claimed zone B. I'd say even the Perseverance has more range than this thing, Heart of Time, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Heart of Time. I tagged him a bit for you. Finish him, Titan! Zone A captured. You have a Okay. Pulses ever got a buff that they sorely need? This gun would be pretty damn good. But... So far, in the state of the meta, this is not something I'd recommend you bringing into PvP. Because with the Time War Inspire has Zen moments, which really helps with its, well, stability issues. And it's already a pretty stable gun, but... Heart of Time is... Um, it's just... Its range isn't the greatest. 
Like, you can see Origin Story has a faster time to kill at that range than Heart of Time does. And up close, it also has a faster time to kill. And if you get really close where you think, oh yeah, I have the advantage, and they just whip out the last hope and annihilate you. Maybe this is more of a flank. There was a moment if the shots would hit his head. Oh god, I'm gonna be chased. I just know it. Ah, I think we could have gone with it in miss those shots. So that is a dumb idea. Dumb ideas were had. Like, if you can land all those headshots, which... This gun is a little hard to do with the way it bounces around. Like, it just bounces everywhere. It's ridiculous. Like, this is its kick. Seems to go up and then to the right. Really strange. So at range, I mean, really, it's not that hard to control, but it's weird. With its typical stability, the bursts between each shot, a little difficult to land on their head consistently. That would be easier if we had a... I'm trying to think of maps this would be good on. Nothing quite comes to mind. Maybe you guys can find a way to make this gun work. Me? Thing <laughs> where you kick your head, you kick your head. It's like I'm aiming for the head, but the kick on it just... It makes the gun go places you don't typically want it to go, so... In the interest of actually being able to land shots consistently, I think we have to go for more stability over more range. Yep, definitely go for stability over range. Because you are going to need that stability with this gun. If you want to land headshots consistently. Otherwise, the first few shots in the burst will hit. And maybe a full burst, but then everything's going to... They have range. We do not have range. Three. Minutes. You have a sword. You have a sword. That awkward moment when future war cult doesn't have the best weapons. Oh. This is going really, really badly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm sorry if I don't seem too enthusiastic, it's just I cannot fake it for a weapon like this. It is... It's not that good in this meta. I really want it to be good, it's just... There are better options for a pulse. Like, you have no range on it, so don't even think about challenging someone who has a scout. You also... Well, your stability is kind of crap, so up close, you're probably going to lose... What? When did you throw that? But yeah, don't use this in the PvP if you want to succeed. Like every now and then you'll get a kill and you're like, oh my god, this gun's actually pretty decent. Then there are times where you just get annihilated. Your enemy is pushing for victory. Okay, I know I just said that and went on to get a, quite a few decent kills, but um... One minute left. Yeah, we're so dead. We are definitely... To 30 seconds. Ah, man! Will the Heart of Time PvP? Uh, I really wanted it to, but 
No? At least not for me. For me, it won't. Maybe you can make it work. But with the state of pulse rifles in this meta, I can in good conscience say, Yeah, go in there, use it! Just don't do that. If you're really serious about winning, I wouldn't recommend the Heart of Time. I mean, it has its moments. It can be kind of fun to play around with. If you do choose to use it, use steady rounds because without it, you're not going to consistently hit them in the head. The only reason I'm not saying, but like one of the big reasons I'm not saying can't PvP is just the state of pulses at the moment. They're kind of limbo. Sometimes they do well, otherwise they're just inconsistent right now with the way high caliber rounds work, knocking you out of all your shots. And the fact that this gun has a serious range problem, I didn't really notice as much with the Time Worn Spire due to its Zen moment. And the kick on this thing is kind of weird. It goes up and then to the right. So if you're aiming on their head, you got to make sure you hold down and then maybe a second later hit left. Because otherwise it's going to knock you out of your shot. You're going to miss that shot. And they're going to melt you. And due to the range disadvantages, autos, they can really get you at any range. Especially if it's Uriel's, you're not going to have a fun time. If the origin story gets to drop on you, kind of screwed. Even if you get a drop on it, if you can't control this thing's recoil, the origin story, which has a lot easier recoil to control due to its vertical frame, will rip through you. If you get in too close, you have to worry things about the last hope. Hand cannons. I know we don't see a lot of hand cannons, but hand cannons, I imagine, will wreck you, especially if it's a judgment for the better devils. But sadly, for me, Heart of Time won't PvP. Maybe you can use it well. If you can, bravo, but for everyone else, I don't. I wouldn't recommend it in this meta. Sadly, I know. I really want this gun to be good. Just. It's underwhelming. The games I've played with it have been really underwhelming. But anyways, that's it for today's episode. If you liked what you see and want to see more, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, have an amazing day and stay classy and don't use your mother final hand.